So I'm Mark Jackson, if you don't know me, and I appreciate everybody coming. Uh, I just wanted to tell you about uh, my deployment uh, to Iraq and actually into Syria. So we get ready to get on the CH-47. And this is us all combat geared up and everything. <clears throat> I took this picture out the back of the C-140, CH-47. So where were we going? We were going into the MERV. The MERV is called the middle of Frazee's River Valley. So what happened is, is we forced ISIS into this valley. All the last fighters, hardened fi fighters, formed into this valley. And guess where I was going? Right in the middle of them. This is a helicopter landing. So every time a helicopter land, because of medevac, this is what it would do. So you would just stand there and just go like this and just get covered with everything. Wipe yourself up and just keep on going. Improvise explosive devices. How many people have heard of this IEDs? All right. So let me explain a little bit about what an IED is. Basically, these are mines all over, all right, all over Syria. They're all over Iraq. They're all over Afghanistan. They're all over the roads. They're everywhere, OK? And I can tell you what they do, because we're going to talk about blast injuries. And when you have a blast injury, it's not like a, an abrasion. You know, you're talking about high velocity shrap metal that's coming out of person, OK? And the, and the body doesn't do well with that kind of injury. Most of, the, most of the casualties, they had no legs. The legs were gone. The arms were gone. Another thing that was out there, and you guys will love this, I didn't have x-rays. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Burn It Up over there, I didn't have CT scans over there. All right? I didn't have labs. I didn't have anything. So you're sitting in your trauma bay, 13, 14, 15 casualties come in, major casualties, I don't have anything. And guess what? It's just me. All right? I have a bunch of medics. Hey, sir, what do we do? Well, put some pressure on that. I'd start with that. All right? All right? <laughs> I had a little ultrasound, and we had monitors. So that monitor saved me. I was just using strict vital signs. It's very important uh, that you, you know what you're doing out there. 